I can see clearly now. My desk is clear. All of my computer stuff is out of the way. Oh, hello, folks. I forgot. I always have, I always have to remind myself when I press start. You are watching the one, the only Hobo Tom. I know that I'm getting this video, video too late. Wow, it was a busy day. I had like three jobs. I went to the gym. Tried some pizza. Marco's pizza is actually really good. It's like it's almost like New York style pizza. It's not quite generic pizza, which is Florida pizza, because that's yeah. But it's definitely its own thing. It's not Pizza Hut. It's not Papa John's. It's its own thing. Good stuff. I got my red wine. I have a little, little hydrating fluid. And to keep me up, because I've been up probably for a lot longer than I should have been. My office desk is all cleared off. My kitty cat was jumping on it. Mark some stuff off. Stuff to do tomorrow. That's okay. I'm not here to tell you about my woes. Oh, except for one. I had an interesting text from a friend. I want to hear you, the YouTube universe views. Are we entering into more of Hunger Games dystopia? Or is it going to be a Mad Max dystopia? Let me know, folks. And I'll try and find that one book that mentions... There's actually one of my many science fiction books probably on that shelf. It's not that shelf. It's in the bedroom. It's over there. But, or it might be on that shelf too. Where it actually mentions Daytona Beach. Indeed. That's okay. Let's get back to some WWE SmackDown. And wow, SmackDown's on a roll. Uh, starts off AJ Styles with an IC belt celebration. Tells Daniel Bryan, hey, hey, Daniel Bryan. Put this belt here around my waist and and realize that flat earthers are right. Daniel Bryan does put the belt around the waist. Then, bro, you're too new Japanish, bro. Matt Riddell comes out. That was pretty cool. Again, AJ Styles, the IC belt, uh, was interviewed. Uh, before this, they did a whole recap of the match. Uh, Matt Riddell, the bro. Comes out and they have actually a really fun match. It's, it's almost lumberjack stylish, really, really close to it though. But except for there's no Valencia on the outside of the ring. Um, I'll also put that question up on my Facebook page too. Are we more Mad Max or more Hunger Games? You, the YouTube universe, decides. But this was a fun match though. AJ. And he slows the pace down to that New Japan heavy hitting, oh, just body part chopping down pace. It's really good. Matt Riddell, he has a little bit faster pace. Incorporates mixed martial arts into the match. It's more his match. So this is really good. Again, Styles makes fights. It's 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 been true in boxing for God knows how long. It's also true in pro wrestling. Uh, let's see here, some highlights. Again, he controls it uh, until New Japan AJ stows up with the throat chop, um, the calf crusher, bunch of good stuff. Uh, Riddell gets tossed into Baron Corbin. I bet we'll see that next next Friday as well. I don't know. I'm tempted. What should I eat next Friday? It might be maybe a Pizza Hut day. Maybe I'll cook a pizza. I don't know. I've that's, that's next week. That's a whole other issue. This is fun though. Then AJ locks in the tag uh, calf crusher. And Matt really gets into the ropes. Um, and then on the outside, he can uh, AJ Styles confronts both Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak. This could be interesting. This is really good. Um, eventually, he gets, he goes back in the ring. 
Uh, uh, Matt Riddell hits the bro Derek, which is just like the gotch neutralizer, which is one of the weakest wrestling moves. I guess it's almost a version of the of the Styles Clash, but yeah, it is what it was. I'll tell you what, that was a fun match. I'm I'm not excited. AJ, uh, not so much with Baron Corbin and Matt Riddell. That's that's oh, that's going to take forever. Hey, I'm Baron Corbin. Bro. Yeah. No, Baron. Bro. Baron. Bro. That's... It's going to go one of two ways. <laughs> and with WWE, it, it tends to go... South very quickly. And we had the um well I was shocked. WWE's doing something and I'm kind of impressed by it. They're having fewer wrestling matches, but they're longer wrestling matches, which is good. Because what I want to see out of a wrestling TV show. I want to see pro wrestling. Raw is, is way too much filler. They've realized hey, SmackDown's two hours. We'll give them 10 to 15, maybe 20-minute matches. We'll have some filler in when the filler is needed. That's the important thing. When the filler is needed. So then uh, we had the dirt sheet with Mandy Rose. That was funny. Um, so Sonya Deville shows up like a suit. Whoa. Sonya Deville has to tranquil a little bit. She has to. Be chill. Randy, um, oh, and Mandy Rose, Mandy Rose looks so much better when she comes out in a normal outfit versus jean bikini. She looks less like Florida meth house trailer park trash in normal clothes. She looks like a pro wrestler from somewhere. Instead of looking like she came out of the freaking trailer park here in South Daytona, where it's known for selling who knows what and providing who knows what services f for insanely low prices. Just saying. Because God knows even I can't afford that stuff. But again, just saying. So Sonya comes down. Um, eventually she gets in Mandy Rose's face. The two of them argue. They brawl. Miz tries to break some up. Miz! Oh, Miz eats a slap. Maurice! Maurice can't be happy with the Miz. He's getting slapped a lot. Especially by by, by big blonde. Wait, Maurice, Maurice big blonde haired. Wait, that's Maurice. Indeed. Miss definitely has a type. So does John Morrison, by the way. <laughs> we talk about big, big, booby, blonde-haired women. Yeah, that's probably not the best for those two. But that's okay. Uh, then there is the New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Taking on Lucha, 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 Lucha House Party. This was actually really fun. This was a fun match. Oh, wait a second. Did I, did I go? Yeah, I'll just edit that in. AJ Styles, Matt Riddell. That was a surf and turf match. As you can tell by the end. This was also another fun match. Raw's putting on good fun matches. I like this. Or SmackDown is putting on good fun matches. Wrestling matches that take a while. I think even Jim Cornette said the wrestling match between Randy Orton and Edge in a vacuum was really good. I didn't see the whole thing, but he's like, the audience was so ups got, got, got so poo-pooed by fake wrestling in the beginning, this match fell flat. I thought that was actually a really good match. It had a good build to it. I think it was not my mat, not El Vagabundo's match of the night. <laughs> Ooh, that was painful. But still, that was really good, though. 
Again, when they have these matches built, when they give these matches time to breathe and develop, that's when they're really fun. Uh, again, this was another long match. The New Day versus Lucha House Party. Kofi and Lince Dorado, they started to do, they married each other. That's fun. Kofi's probably the one person. Well, besides probably Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is, isn't a slouch. But Kofi can definitely marry Lucha House Party, especially if Lucha House Party drop it down from, say, an 11 to a 7. Um, that allows Kofi Kingston to keep up with them. I think Lucha House Party, man, if they wanted to, if they wanted to go absolutely bonkers, they could. But, again, uh, Kofi and Lince, they did the mirror drop because that was fun. Kofi, again, a, a low bridge. I always got him confused because I don't know which one's there in the match, but but I'll say Lince Dorado. Uh, Big E. Big E's too strong. In this match, it wasn't necessarily Kofi that was getting beat up, beat up a lot. Big E got beat up a lot. But for the most part, it was because of the quickness and agility of the Lucha House Party. Granted, the Lucha House Party took most of the punishment, but they're the smaller tag team. But this made sense. It wasn't just the big guys beating on Kofi Kingston until Big E could get the tag. Very, very, very formulaic of a WWE tag team match. So I do appreciate the fact that they're trying to get away from that. That's good. Uh, Big E's too strong again. He, he does. He has his antics, which is always fun to see. Um, let's see here. You know, it was fun, especially with when Kofi and Lucha, when and whoever Grandman Leak and or Lindsay Dorado was in the match. It was very fast, very good action. Again, they had wrestles with purpose, going to a headlock, but you take the headlocks, the ropes, the arm drag. Uh, of the arm ringer to, to the rope walking to to the Mexican arm drag. They did it with purpose. They just didn't sit there. Hey, what do you want to do next? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, is the crowd coming yet? No, it looks like they're going to sleep. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll make my comeback. Yeah, that sounds good. So at least it's at least it's not that. Uh here. P Piggy pulled his pulled his poor Lindsay. That was awesome to see. Um eventually this this mat itself was a teeth burger mat and a tunnel a tunnel of the sphere of Dusty Road because oh Dusty this was a teeth burger of a mat. But it had your dust and finish written all over it, baby. Because eventually, Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura came up, beat up everyone. Yeah, it is what it was. The Cesaro swing looks great. Again, this was a good, fun cheeseburger match. The one thing about this match, Sasha Banks and Bailey did come down. Shringside, they didn't talk much about the match. They just talked more about what they did in NXT, how they're going to be tag team champions for a very long time. Yeah, they just kind of mentioned their accolades. Um, I think Bailey got a little bit moist down there when Big E threw her coat to her. Um, I think they were just talking a whole bunch of stuff. They somewhat took away from the match. They didn't really add much to it. They talked more about themselves. Again, very typical heel tag team stuff. Then there was like a meeting of like the woman's smacked on locker room. Dana Brooke got involved. Dana Brooke has had too much work done, folks. Dana Brooke at one time was really cute. No, not so much. Then we had Carlo interview Seamus. Seamus says, "Yeah, he's going to do a toast to Matt Hardy. That's 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 going to be terrible. That's not good." Uh, and then. Bailey and Sasha Banks to get ready to leave. They're confronted by Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Uh, trust me, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross are not winning those belts anytime soon. They will go to the Iconics probably at Extreme Rules. But we'll see what they do. So now it's all like Extreme Rules or something. Uh, so this lets me match. Again, Bailey said, well, if, if Nikki wins, we'll see what happens. 
And of course, so with my partner Sasha Banks can beat Nikki up easily. So it became Sasha Banks versus Nikki Cross. This was fun. Uh, Nikki went to commercial quickly. Nikki trapped Sasha <laughs> on the corner. She tried to slide up the. She tried to come up the table, but she slid right off it. <laughs> Nikki crosses. <sighs> Thank you, Nikki. Nikki, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. But Nikki crosses. She has so much energy. She just picks up, picks up, like feeling down and depressed, talking about it's, it's today's society, more Mad Max or Hunger Games. And then Nikki Cross shows up, just puts a big smile on the face. Um, let's see, so she traps Sasha. She cut the table, slid right off the edge. Did the dive on the floor to Sasha Banks. That was great. However, Sasha Banks has seen enough of Nikki Cross's matches to realize, uh oh, she's going to do that bulldog, bulldog now. She reversed that into a backstab, a backstabber, and then into the bank statement. Again, Nikki Cross said, "You know what? I've had enough of these matches. I know how to get out of the bank statement. I'll do a roll up. Um, I'll go up to the top rope." She got stuck there. Did the Scottish headbutt. Uh, sometime Nikki Cross did get rolled up because of interference from Bailey. She got distracted. Alexa Bliss kind of got involved. Nikki Cross got rolled up. Sasha Banks wins. And I'll tell you what. The best part of this match, Nikki Cross has been putting on weight in all the right places. Because she's busting out of there out of her vest. Her her boobies are coming out. Nikki Cross's boobies. Ah, uh, to see those in the sports bra. Nikki Cross, again, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. To see your magnificent mommy bags. Because, yes, Nikki, we all know where babies feed. But this was a fun match, though. A good cheeseburger match. Wow, this was the last wrestling thing, wasn't there? Yeah, but this was decently long. This was like 10 minutes. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Again, I think the AJ Styles. They're letting that they've realized what gold they have in AJ Styles, and they're letting him wrestle. That's the thing. They're letting the wrestlers know who they know who have skill. Just go at it, which is good. Uh, Titus O'Neil, there was a program about him. He is a nominee for the Muhammad Ali Award. This probably ties into the whole black stuff matters. I know it's Juneteenth here in Daytona Beach, even though there's nothing going on because of coronavirus. But um, I think Juneteenth, I think one of my coworkers said, oh, that's, that's the Emancipation Proclamation. I don't think so. I think that is more in line with the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa. Than it is with the Emancipation Proclamation. Although you out there in the YouTube universe, you can always feel free to correct me. Because Nike was closed due to Ju Juneteenth celebrations. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It is around this year. And it's primarily black stuff. Even though everyone goes there for Daytona Beach. Listen, people in Daytona Beach say there's free stuff, there's a party. There's food and beverage. That's enough for most people to, to actually head out. And there's a Firefly Funhouse spot. Uh, again, recaps of Matt Riddell and, and AJ Styles. And Firefly Funhouse! The rabbit speaks out. Hey! Hey, Bray! You didn't do so good last time. You faced Braun Strowman. The Braun, they have the Braun train. The Strowman Express. We'll see. I'll always give it a chance. And he does do that runaround, so it may Hey man. Follow me, brother. Yeah, man. What the hell just happened? Who who is that? 
I don't know. That was that was pretty weird. But again, I don't know. Some weird stuff happening these days. End of days, man. What the hell? But yeah, the original cult leader Bray White himself showed up. And so we'll see what happens if they bring back Eric Rowan. That rabbit's going to die again, though. The many, many lives of a rabbit. So that was smacked on in, in, in a nut, nut cap. And I want to make sure that... The hell, I don't know. Who's that that showed up, though? That's... It's weird, man. I don't know. But, yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens, folks. Um, but that was SmackDown, though. Again, for the most part, a, a cheeseburger SmackDown. There's nothing funny in this. Just, no, no, no one slipped anything in my... It's not just me. My cat didn't slip anything in my soda. I don't know. Oh, well, that was SmackDown. That was a pretty good cheeseburger SmackDown. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Hmm. I guess that's okay. Um, I'm off this weekend from doing wrestling shows. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, next week, um, Monday, Monday night, there's supposed to be a whole bunch of wrestling, a whole bunch of championships being decided. Again, next week, Monday, typical uh, Raw show. Tuesday, I'll try and make it on, on, on time unless we have, like, something freaky happens. Um, Wednesday, again, is AEW. Thursday, I'm off. Fridays should be a little bit more normal SmackDown. I'm off again. Good stuff, I guess. As long as nothing freaky happens. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Have a good night, folks.